What's up guys, Jmov here. I'm gonna be getting into regular videos again. It's been a long hiatus. I've been busy working on a few things. So I'm working on a book where I'm gonna be chronicling the journey all the way up through 1K, um, talking about all the different trials and tribulations and the evolution of the community and the forums and all that stuff, different adventures I've had along the way, different phases of game development, different um, epiphanies and all this stuff like that. Number two, I've been working on a second product called The Lead Machine. Now, when I made Occam's Razor the first product, I criticized a lot of these other companies that said they're putting out product after product, promising you the solution, they never actually solve the problem, and their whole goal is just to sell you more products. So with Occam's Razor, I designed it to be a permanent solution. So it covers night game, day game, online game, and how to run your dates, okay? And I also gave my texting flow charts, I gave objection answers, um, and poll scripts for a nighttime game. I had interviews with top experts, I have over 70, infield footage clips that show how show me pulling show me isolating show me doing makeouts show me doing daytime approaches daytime pulling um shows full length dates shows um online game screenshots everything and i built this to be a permanent final solution which it is however the second product is going to be like taking things to the very next level okay like <laughs> When I first built the product, I didn't realize Occam's Razor. I didn't realize that there's like this extreme secret sauce that's responsible for most of my results. Now, by that I mean lead working. When I when I refer to a lead, I refer to basically a phone number. Okay, it's the equivalent of a phone number. So a lead can be a phone number you acquire from Tinder, a phone number you acquire from a girl on the street during the daytime, a phone number you get from a, a bar or nightclub. Now, you're going to have X amount of leads that you're working, okay? And I said in my lead series videos on YouTube, you should be working about 15 to 20 leads at a time. You don't wanna work like 30, 40, 50, because you'll do it inefficiently and you won't be able to schedule them all and leads will start falling through the cracks. So what that means is that they'll go cold. And I gave general principles in those videos how leads generally um, start to go cold, like really cold within a week. Um, you should be actively scheduling, filling up your free time slots or what you've allocated for dates as aggressively as possible. Um, but this product, the second product, the leads machine, it's really gonna go into my secret sauce. Like I just finished building a giant flow chart. That's why I've been a little inactive on YouTube. I've been working hard on this um, and running live programs and stuff like that. It's going to be like soup to nuts, like every little specific thing I'm doing. So it's going to be heavily focused on my text game, is what I've realized. In Occam's Razor, I give text sequences to set up a date, um, text sequences to confirm the date and to make sure things are still on on the day of the date, text sequences to remind a girl that you have a date tomorrow, etc., etc. But those are like the basic text sequences. The second product is going to be almost exclusively focused on night game. The Leads Machine product is not going to be focused on how to acquire the leads Really, that's where Occam's Razor is going to be important. So how to run your night game interactions, your day game interactions, um, and any other form of game, your social circle stuff, um, that's all going to be covered in Occam's Razor. All the in-person game is going to be covered with Occam's Razor. And for those of you that don't, that don't know, and I'll put the, the link in the description, Occam's Razor can be found at the website www.ultimateseductionsystem.com. Now, the second product this is really what's going to skyrocket people, but you can't just skip. A lot of people, when I announced I'm doing a second product, first of all, they were like, oh, do I even need Occam's Razor? Yes, you still need to know how to run your in-person interactions because you, you're not even gonna have all these leads to deal with if you're not learning game properly and learning how to acquire them properly. So Occam's Razor deals heavily with acquiring them properly. The Leads Machine second product is going to be, okay, I have, these leads, here's exactly what I text to them. There's all kinds of objections that come up over text. I, I, I was very, 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 very thorough. I, I did extreme amounts of thinking about this and I worked with some other top guys for brainstorming. And I also had a, a top, uh, one of the leading crypto guys in the world that, that handles um, a bunch of my investments for cryptocurrency. He sat down with me, he has an extremely analytical systematic mind like me. And we created this giant flow chart together. I was the subject matter expert, but he was helping me with the thought and process flows. So what this involves is like, 
literally anything she throws at you over text, whether it be an objection, a non-response, like a, I'm not sure. Like say you ask a girl to hang out, she's, she can say like, I'm not sure. I need to check my schedule. I'm about to leave town tomorrow. Um, I'm out of town right now. Um, I'm kind of seeing someone um, on and on and on. Uh, you know, I work nights or I have a busy schedule or, or just I'm busy in general. There's so many different forms of what they can reply. And most guys don't know how to optimally answer these. So they're throwing out whatever they think to be the correct, the correct move, which is uh, more often than not extremely suboptimal or just flat out incorrect. And over time, look at this in terms of numbers. Let's say you're acquiring, let's say you're going out Friday and Saturday nights at a minimum. And let's say you're acquiring 10 numbers each night on average, so that's 20 numbers. Let's say you're using, as, I, as I've instructed in other videos, Tinder and Bumble on a daily basis. And if you're not, you should be setting a daily calendar reminder in your phone to use Tinder and Bumble on a daily basis because that gives you more exposure. It's, it's almost like you're going out and doing game even though you're doing it virtually from your phone. You're gonna get a bunch of matches there. Then I don't advocate going out and doing day game sessions, but people you meet during the daytime when you're doing other shit in your daily life, you're gonna be acquiring some numbers there, okay? And then if you wanna add in a couple more night game nights, if you have the time and flexibility in your schedule, Thursday is the next best night to add in. Or if you can find some kind of cool daytime party on Sundays or some happy hour or uh, special event like a ladies night on a Tuesday or Wednesday, you wanna add that in. So what you're gonna end up with, at a minimum, you should have 20, 25 leads, okay? But it can be anywhere up to like 40 or 50. It's gonna be somewhere like in that range. Now, what do you do with all these, right? So this is on a weekly basis. So let's say you're acquiring even just 20 leads, let's say 25, 25 leads a week, okay? And if you're not, you need to get up to that point. This is, how, this is where the, the volume comes from. This is, where, this is how you close lots of chicks and have lots of options in your life. So let's say you have 25 leads in a week. There's four weeks in a month. That gives you 100 leads a month, okay? Going across the year, that's over a thousand leads in a year. Now I've said in other videos, um, you know, you're, a lot of these leads are not going to meet up. A lot of them you're not going to close. But you need to be doing volume, and then the quality of the leads is going to be dependent on how strong your in-person game is. Okay. So Occam's Razor, and I even talk about in Occam's Razor how to build your your online game profile, both description and pictures. I go in all the details about getting professional pictures and possibly doing green screens and using having people use Photoshop to increase the aesthetics and blah, 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 blah. So look at this really as, as these parts. Quality of leads, that's Occam's Razor, okay? And acquiring the leads. Now you move to working the leads, that's going to be the lead machine. And the, the other caveat there is you need to be doing some kind of volume. You can't just know how to acquire leads and then not acquire them because you're not putting in the time and then you don't have any leads to work with. Like there's been periods of time, like when I was working with Sunny in the gym heavily earlier this year, um, we weren't really going out very much. I wasn't using Tinder very much. So I wasn't really acquiring very much, very many leads. And so I wasn't really closing much. Okay, you, it's, this isn't a magic trick. You have to put stuff at the top of the funnel. You have to put leads at the top of the funnel in order to work those down, get a bunch of dates, get a bunch of closes, and then get a bunch of girls in rotation which means regular girls you're seeing, your harem. So in the leads machine product, I literally go from start to finish. Here's what you do with a night game number. Here, like, here's exactly what you text. Here's all the different things that can happen. Here's how you deal with it to optimally get her out on the date. Here's the same thing for day game. You get a day game number, here's all the paths. And it literally, I've given this to a couple guys to beta test and they're just bulldozing, like cleaning up with results. Like the first guy got three new girls in two days. And all he's doing is taking a phone number that he has and just plugging it into the massive flowchart that I built. So you literally just send the first text. Okay, this happened, do this. It's, it's like extremely, extremely, extremely plug and play, meaning that there's no guesswork and there's not gonna be any curveballs that are thrown. Like the, There's gonna be like these extreme, extreme, extreme outliers once in a while that the girl says that, that doesn't even apply, but I have like catch-all cases for that. Um, so really everything is covered. So there's no guesswork. So it's going to take every lead you have from day game, night game, and online game, and it's going to optimally um, set it for a date, which means you're going to have the highest probability 
of getting her out for a date. Now, what happens on the date? You have optimal logistics. There's no friend around to cock block. You're right near your house. The venue is right near your house, or she's coming straight to your house. Okay, which I talk about in another video on my channel, setting dates straight for the, to the house. And then um, she has time to hang out with you. Like in a night game situation, you have to deal with all her friends. You have to deal with all the noise and distractions from the club. You have to deal with trying to bring her out of the venue. You have to deal with all the objections she has to leaving the venue. Um, you, have, you probably haven't had enough time to talk to her to make her feel comfortable and safe enough. So she has objections to going home with a stranger. Um, she might have work in the morning, so she has time constraints. Um, she might live far away or you might not live that close. So all these logistics are against you in night game compared to setting up a date. So dates, I've said many places, dates are where all the clothes, like the majority of the closing is going to come from pulling, taking a girl home straight away from the nightclub or from a daytime environment is, is vastly overrated and, and there's far too much focus on it. Guys, look at that as the be all end all. I have even been looking at it recently as I've thought more and more and more about this as, and as I'm nearing up on a thousand lays is pulling is almost detrimental. And why do I say that? If I were to pull, say I go into a nightclub at 10 p.m. and it's open until 2 or 3 a.m. and I pull a girl at 11.30 or 12, I now don't have access to the girls from 12 to 2 or 12 to 3 in terms of getting them for leads. Is it better to take that girl home from the bar or is it better to go get five or six more leads that could turn into two or three more dates which could end up being two or three more closes? Now, I'm looking at this very systematically and mechanically. I'm not trying to dehumanize the whole process. I'm talking about getting a skill advantage. So, and, the, and that pull that you're working on could fall through, or you know, for those of you that have had experience with pulling, she could end up not wanting to get out of the cab once you get to your house, or she could end up not even, you know, her friends could call her on the way back, or it's not even a guarantee that that girl's gonna go home and sleep with you, and you could be meeting these other cool girls with that time, right? Because you're working with the commodity of time and there's opportunity costs. Again, not dehumanizing the whole process, but just looking at the facts. So um, leads are where it's at, and then leads turn into dates and dates turn into closes. So you, you don't even really need to worry about pulling that much. I go in, into it extensively more so than any other coach uh, with, with more detail and more actionable steps for how to pull an outcomes razor than any other coach. So you can do that if you want. And I used to be focused on that. Now I'm far more focused on um, getting the leads and going on dates. And to be honest, you get a much stronger connection on a date anyways. In the nightclub, there's so much shit going on. People are drinking, like it's just like all this chaos, right? You're not, it's not the same as like sitting one-on-one -on -one in a coffee shop or sitting one-on-one -on -one in, a, in a bar or a restaurant and genuinely connecting with this girl, genuinely finding out about her life where you, you don't need to rush anything. You don't need to... Uh, you're not impaired by alcohol, et cetera, et cetera. So I even prefer dates. You know, you can build a much richer connection, uh, get to know the girl a lot more. A lot of these guys that are pulling, especially with the faster pulls, you know, and I, and I still pull. It's not like I'm, I'm saying don't ever try to pull again. But what happens is you have this like little quick interaction, you bring the girl home, you know, and then you don't even really know each other. And it's easy for her to just disappear or, or feel the buyer's remorse thing where she feels guilty about things and you lost her, right? Whereas if you would have taken her on a date, maybe you don't bang her on the first date, that's not the point. The point is you're gonna develop a much richer connection. And just touching on that really fast, my personal philosophy, I'll, I'll go on two, three, four dates with a girl if we haven't slept together, even if I like her. Like if I think this girl is attractive physically and her personality is nice and we have a good chemistry, I don't really give a shit if I don't bang her on the first date, like honestly. People are like, oh, you're just trying to rack up the numbers. That's not true at all. Like I'll go on two, three, four, five dates. After like four or five dates, I might like bring it up and be like, yo, what, like, do you want this to just be like a, a makeout relationship or what, or what the fuck? Um, but it's not really a big deal. Most of the other coaches I know in the industry, like they have like a strict policy. Like if they don't close on the first date, they won't go on the second date because they're just focused on the close, focused on banging the chick. And surprise, surprise, most of those guys... I won't say names. Most of those guys don't have any emotional connection with the chicks and they don't have a rotation. They're not having these rich experiences with these girls. Despite all the logical and systematic and flowchart approach that I bring, the analytical approach that I bring and working a lot of this, like a sales funnel and all that stuff, 
I still genuinely connect. And I'm going to make a separate video about this because I've had some people recently bring this to my attention. They're like, the way you talk about working things like a flow chart and, um, you know, if then cases and like sequences and blah, blah, blah. It seems to dehumanize the woman or it seems to, it seems like you're just treating, objectifying them or treating, no, 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 no. And I'm sorry if you guys got the wrong idea about that. The rotations that I run, the girls I'm seeing regularly, I treat them more or less like a girlfriend, right? Without the label. Um, so I take them to dinner. Another thing other coaches don't do, they don't take them out on real dates. They just want the girl to just come over and bang and leave. I take them out to dinner. I listen about their life and their problems, not just because I have to, because I want to, because I want to have a real connection with these girls. It's nice to connect and do things with them. And, you know, the, the everything is much better. The sex is much better. The time you spend together is much better. To have a real genuine connection with the girl is important. So, like, for instance, with this not banging on the first date thing. Lots of the highest quality girls I've met across my journey in the game don't want to have sex on the first date. Does that mean they're prude? No, it usually means because they're not a slut or they're not a whore. That doesn't mean that every girl that sleeps with you on the first date is a whore, but a lot of these higher quality girls aren't just running around sleeping with everyone. So you need to wait two or three dates and you shouldn't be pushing it and it, it shouldn't be like the only focus. Like I had, I had like a wake up a few years ago when um, one of the other top guys I knew he said to me, like, dude, like, who cares if you close on the first date because did you enjoy the time? Like, if you're spending a time, the time with, like, a 9 or an 8.5 or whatever, like, a really hot girl, and she's cool and you have good chemistry, like, you still had a great time, right? It still was awesome. Like, so what? You didn't have sex. He's like, why would you, like, be really pushy or, like, toss that away because she didn't put out the first date when you could be seeing that girl for months or even you know, even a year or more. So I was like, yeah, you're right. So like, I just start looking at it now, like, okay, I'm enjoying the time with her. It's not a big deal. Maybe we'll just make out. Maybe we don't even do that. But by the third or fourth date, maybe we will sleep together. And now we, we have all this connection, all the stuff that we've built up over those three or four dates. And now I'm seeing them for months and they're a big part of my life for months or, or even longer. Okay. So enough about that. The leads machine back to that. So I go, how to take that phone number from night game, day game, or online game straight to the date in the optimal way possible. Now, the other pieces of this giant flow chart, as I mentioned before, all the objections, like I was as thorough and comprehensive as possible. So like you can literally find the objection that she put over text. And trust me, I have more data than anyone in the community, like hands down, coming up on a, a thousand lays. I have um, like 9,700 contacts in my phone that's those are leads essentially and some of those are guy friends and you know other business related contact but out of the 9700 most of them almost all of them are girl leads that i've met through doing game okay so i have experience working almost 10,000 of these leads and being in these situations where i'm you know like I brought my my phone into the cell phone store like a year or two ago and the guy was looking at the number of text messages and he's like, this is like a hundred X what anything I've ever seen. Cause I was spending all my free time when I wasn't on dates or doing game or with a fuck buddy working leads. So I've, I've been like in the trenches working leads for like 10 years. So I'm taking all those experiences and all that data and all that information. And I've also been active on the forums and talking to other experts and analyzing this like a machine. And I know which way the conversation is going to go over text. And I know how to re-steer it optimally back to say up the dates. I know how to answer all the objections. Just like there's objections in Night Game, which I talk about in Occam's Razor, for when you're trying to pull, there's also objections with lead working when you're trying to get the girl on a date. Um, what else is in the product? It's going to have... Um, how to sketch, like basically how to do all the scheduling. Cause that, that's another key element. How do you do all the scheduling? How do you, how much time should you leave between each date? How do you propose setting up a time? Like th there's no details left out. Like here's exactly how you can optimally fill up your week, given the amount of time that you have to allocate towards dates. Um, I also go over what to do when they flake or when they want to reschedule or when they cancel. So there's all these different control paths. I'm gonna pull up the, the big chart really quick here. Um, let's see. 
I just want to see what else is on here. But yeah, I go into exactly what to do um, when they flake or cancel. And there, there's all these different like variations, right? Like I call a hard flake where basically like, you have plans and the girl just like doesn't show up, doesn't text back and like it's just like radio silence. That's a hard flake. Then she can say like, sorry, I can't make it and not give an excuse. She can say, sorry, I can't make it and give an excuse. Um, and I also give like different variations of like going for aggressively setting up a date, going for more passive routes. And I talk about the pros and cons of what to do. Like sometimes when a girl is like on the fence, like say it's like a 6.5 or a seven, you're not sure if you really, want, you really even want a banger or like you would, but it's not a big deal to you. You can take the more aggressive route and add in sexual screening to find out if she's uh, DTF or down to fuck before you even meet up with her, which will save you time and energy. So I'm looking at this. Okay, so I have, and I'll, I'll just put this out there. I talked about it in a different video. Seeking Arrangement is also an online game lead source. So I have the whole Seeking Arrangement path from start to finish. I have the whole Tinder and Bumble path from start to finish. And I, I tell you exactly what messages to send on, t on Tinder too. So this isn't just texting on the phone. I tell you what to use as your opener on Tinder and Bumble. And then based on her reply, what to say next. And I made this as streamlined as possible. So I made it so it, it almost doesn't even matter what she says back. Like she can throw up objections and, and that's why you'll consult the objection list. But in general, most of these um, opens on Tinder leading up to the number close are going to be like very, very, very similar in that it's going to be boom, she says something, boom, she says something, boom. Almost like a computer could almost do it. But these are, I've, I've split tested, for those who don't, don't know what that means, I've taken like ide like optimized ideal approaches, what I, what I consider to be the best, and I've constantly been trying to like find something that beats it, either from other top friends of mine that are getting good results, I'll try their strategy and test it against mine, or I'll come up with like an innovation, like I think this text could be improved, or I think this piece is a little weak, or, or could be improved. None of this is weak, but I'm always looking for the, the optimal solution, right? So if a part could potentially use improvement or could potentially um, perform better with, with some other version, then I, I'm always looking for that. So this goes from the open all the way to getting the phone number. Then I tell exactly what to do over text. Um, night game path and the day game path, same thing. It there's every case here, what to do if she doesn't reply, what to do if you set plans in the set, if you didn't set plans in the set. Oh, here's another thing, okay, I go over double stacking. Double stacking is where you set like two girls for the same time slot. So say um, you work until 5 p.m. and then you have a commute, you're home by like six, and then you have to eat dinner and shower and change, whatever. So you set a date for seven or 7.30. You can set two different girls for seven or 7.30 and I go over, um, how to, well, well, sometimes one of them will flake and then you still have the backup, but if they're both still on, I go over how you can screen to see who's more uh, down. Like for instance, one of them might want to come straight to the house and the other doesn't. So you're usually going to want to go with the one that wants to come straight to the house, unless the other one's significantly hotter. I go over all these, all these concerns and this is all like a giant equation to me. My brain works like an analytical machine and this whole thing, I built it into a big algorithm and a big equation. So um, you will literally be able to go from the lead to the date. And I cover all the different things that can happen. Like this, this flow chart is really massive. Like I spent a lot of time on this. It's very, very, very expertly informed. Um, okay. Scheduling and rescheduling. I talk about the concept of a floater spot. <laughs> Again, not dehumanizing. A floater spot is basically like, say, say like a Saturday, you book like a 1 PM, a 3:30, a 6 PM and like a 9 PM. And maybe you want to go out at like 11 after your 9 p.m. is done and, and do night game. Again, you don't need to be, you can scale this up or down as much as you want, right? That's just like a, if you were going to stack the whole day, you know, you, you have other stuff going on. I understand blah, 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 but this is, I'm giving you like, here's what's possible. And then you can pare it down as your schedule and, uh, available time allocated to this allows. So floater spots is a girl that basically, um, she's set for like Saturday, you have your whole Saturday booked, but you're like, you tell her for instance, like, oh, you know, I have a bunch of stuff going on Saturday, let's keep in touch and we'll set a time. Okay, Saturday comes around, 
your 3.30 says, oh, something came up, like I have to go see my parents or blah, 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 I'm sick. Okay, no problem. You immediately hit up the floater girl. Hey, so it looks like I'm going to be free around 3.30. Sound good? Boom. Problem solved. So you, you put these floaters in. It's kind of like an insurance for, and, and again, all these considerate, there's so many different considerations to weigh, but it's all spelled out um, right in here. What to do when, when, uh, when a date goes over the time that you've allocated and the other girl's ready to meet up. Um, what to do when a date finishes earlier and you want to move one up. Again, this might seem simple on the surface, like, oh, I'll just text her this or that. But there's uh, there's very subtle nuances here. That's what I want to get across to you guys. And back to my numbers example, if you're working a thousand leads in a year and you're making mistakes, which everyone is on, on, mass, on a massive scale from what I've seen in the community, from guys posting screenshots, um, from, from the clients that I've had, People are fucking this up all over the place. And just for those of you that have seen my product, my Occam's Razor product, or know anything about Night Game, there's very subtle nuances there as well. You can do everything correctly and get to the point where you're leaving the club with her and you're by the exit. And she, I always tell my students on the live programs, her arm will go taut, right? Like, which means she stop, or your arm will go taut. Which means you, she stops and you're, you're walking. So your arm gets stretched out. And, and a lot of guys will try to be like, come on, come on. Or just like, they're almost, they're like at the finish line basically at the exit of the club. And the girl, basically, it's, it's like a compliant, I call this micro, a micro objection. She needs a little bit of extra reassurance because she's committing to leaving the, the safe venue where her friends are and where she's in public to going through this like threshold where now she's like off of the stranger and like committing to going home with a stranger who might be dangerous or where she might be in a awkward situation or where you know, she might get stranded or, or any number of things that are going through her mind. So you need to reassure her there. But a lot of guys don't know little things like that. Or they don't, they don't know they need to banter in the cab, for instance. They need to keep speaking in the cab. They'll go silent in the cab. The girl will get uncomfortable. It drops below a certain threshold. Okay, I want to go back. I want to go back to the club. Or, or her objections start coming up a lot more extreme. There's all these little... So, like, you can't be successful in night game without having the whole picture and without having an appreciation and an understanding and an expert showing you how to deal with these subtle nuances, right? Like these little tiny things which seem harmless on the surface can fuck the whole thing. And the same goes for working leads. So when you're working a thousand leads in a year, or, you know, that, that was just an example, if you're doing 25 in a week, so you're only getting 10 in a week, you're still working over a hundred a year. Literally, if you look at this as a funnel, I'm teaching you in Occam's Razor, here's how you acquire the maximum amount of leads possible. And I can't demonstrate my hands like a quality score for these leads, but you're going to be, they're going to be solid leads because I'm teaching you the optimal ways to run your in-person interactions. Now, taking those leads to the next phase, working them for dates, like most of you are fucking just closing it off right there. A lot of guys that I talk to, like they can't get girls out on dates, even though they're getting phone numbers, even though they're getting makeouts. Why is that? They don't know how to handle the objections over text. They're not sending the correct texts. They're, they're sabotaging themselves by sending needy texts or, or unnecessary texts. Or they're, there's so many, like texting is, is, is vastly underrated. There's so many ways you can fuck this up, okay? And I, in the beginning, it was like a fucking bitch to me because I was like, here's a girl I had like a perfect connection with that was like super down, blah, blah, blah. And like, I make a little misstep over text and it's done. Okay, and it's very easy. I'm sure a lot of you watching this have texted girls before. It's very easy to make a little, it's like walking a tightrope, especially with the really hot ones. And you're off the tightrope and that's it. It's over. So um, you need to be able to go to the next level where you're keeping as many of those leads as possible so you're getting the meetups. So this product is focused on getting you as many meetups as possible. And as I said before, what happens with meetups? You get... Um, What's it called? <laughs> uh, closes. Okay. Ta-da. That's, that's what we're here for. Again, so that's not, that doesn't mean, oh, that's just to rack the numbers. It's giving you the most options regardless of what your goal is. So if your goal is to get a dream girlfriend, you can't just get, you know, a thousand leads and then just try to ask them all to be your girlfriend or something like that. You're going to need to regularly be able to attract a nine. Okay. I assume most of you want to have a girlfriend to nine. Okay. So you're going to be able to, you're going to have to be able to regularly go on dates with nines and be able to regularly sleep with nines 
in order to pick the nine of your choice to be your girlfriend. You can't just, you know, pull like drunk fives and drunk fours and all that stuff and maybe go on a date with like an occasional six or something. And they'll be like, well, I'm not about the numbers. I just want to get a, a stunner girlfriend. I'm going to, I'm going to check out of the game for a bit of the nine. No, the nine isn't going to meet up with you. You don't know how to text her properly. Um, you've never been on dates with nines or, or not that often. So you don't know how to even behave, which I talk about in Occam's Razor, um, how to run your dates. And then, you know, none of the nines are making it through the funnel. The, the nines are, are getting stopped either at the top part where you're talking to them or they're getting stopped at the lead working part. And nines are especially difficult to get out on dates, but I go into all that in the product. Um, so double stacking, I already talked about canceling. I talked about scheduling, rescheduling. I have the passive flows, the aggressive flows. Um, oh, the, the double st stacking and canceling. I talk about when you're canceling on them. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you aren't even in that position yet. You can be, once you're working the leads properly and you're getting lots of dates, you're gonna have like your schedule is going to be full, even if you don't even have a job, it just takes over everything. Again, you're going to be paring down based on the amount of time you want to allocate, allocate to this and the amount of time you have available. But, um, I'm talking about in this particular section, canceling on them, meaning you just don't have enough time to see everyone. Right. And there, or maybe a hotter one came up and you want to fill her, uh, put her into the slot of another girl you had scheduled that was less hot or less cool or whatever. Um, then I talk about when they cancel, so they can cancel with a legitimate excuse, they can hard flake, which I talked about just disappearing, or they can cancel with a bullshit excuse or no excuse to talk about exactly what text to send and how to deal with that. Um, okay, I go into all the different types of objections, location objections, safety objections, um, all the stuff to do when they're not replying. And then I have a whole section here on it's like a beast of a flow chart. Um, a whole section on calendar management. Okay, so you must, um, you have to do this, guys. I can't stress this enough. Like, I've tried personally, and I know other people have tried personally, that to try to remember all your appointments. You just can't do it. Like, our, our brains as humans aren't meant to remember all that information. And same thing with sales, right? Like, if you were a salesman and you have a bunch of clients, or, or any job where you have clients and customers, and you need to, like I talk about, this person's out of town, they're coming back this day, set a calendar reminder, reminding yourself to set that girl for that day. This girl's not free to the weekend, set a calendar reminder on Friday saying she's free on the weekend. This girl's not sure when she can meet, but she's gonna let you know on this day, so you put a note about that. All these things add up, like, this is this is how I got up to close to a thousand lays, and it's gonna probably happen by the end of the year that I hit a thousand. Um, it's from working the leads properly. And I developed all these strategies over time just through optimizing and optimizing and split testing and also borrowing things from sales and borrowing things from other top guys. Um, but this goes into how to set when you have dates, how to set when girls are out of town, excuse me, how to set like all the different possible situations that can happen. Like if I were to open up my, my calendar here, there's, on any given day, like five to 10 notes. It's like this girl at one, this girl at 3.30, this girl at six, right? Um, this girl in the floater spot, um, set this girl about this, check with this girl about when she's gonna be back in town. It's, there's, there's literally so many specific um, states that a particular lead can be in. You just cannot track it mentally. And, and almost everyone I know in the game is not tracking these things. And what happens? that week, that magical week passes by, which is just like a general rule before the lead goes cold and their leads are all falling through the cracks. And what am I doing? I'm closing those ones that those guys let fall through the cracks. Okay. So right, I'm already over 30 minutes. That should give you a general picture of, um, what the new product is going to entail. And I know I've said it in, in some of the past few videos, like all oh, the regular videos are coming really, you know, apologizing and all that stuff. Um, I just had a lot of fucking shit going on. I was traveling a lot. I was working on a bunch of these bigger projects. Um, now I am committed. I have the time again and, you know, expect at least one video a week, if not more. I'm going to try to do a lot more than that. I'm going to get my, this is, I'm using the webcam and uh, uh, podcast mic right now. 
but I'm going to get my pro cam set up um, with the professional microphone, do some videos outside, all that stuff. So um, one thing I wanted to offer here at the end here, because I've done this for a couple guys, I am going to be releasing the lead machine probably before Christmas, but, and it's going to be a thousand bucks, it's going to be $997, but I'm going to allow for uh, early bird access and right now the, the biggest part that's been developed is the flow chart but the flow chart as I said is plug and play and you can take that and, and work a lead from start to finish so I'm gonna be offering at a 50% discount right now for the early um, the early access uh, for the price of 497 so I will put in the description uh, my email address is epdatingcoach at gmail.com. And to clarify, that will give you access to the flowchart, which is a giant flowchart, which is my whole secret sauce of how to take a lead all the way down to uh, getting the date set up. Okay. And I'm going to be finishing the rest of the product before Christmas. So basically, at the 497 price, you'll get access to the massive flowchart immediately. And then before Christmas, which is six weeks, seven weeks away, um, you will get the remainder of the product. The flow chart is, is the meat of the product, but then you'll, you'll get the remainder, which will be a bunch of videos and just discussion of, you know, in a lot more detail than, than YouTube of all the intricacies of each little piece of the flow chart and, and what goes into working these leads and various other considerations. Um, but again, to, just to recap one more time, Outcomes Razor, my first product, deals with in-person interactions primarily okay it was built to be a permanent final solution and it does have texting in there but what i realized that came out a couple years ago as i what i realized that the stuff is still out to date I, I haven't made any really key tweaks except the dates to the house which i have a youtube video about um what i want you guys to realize is um or what sorry what i realized is that the lead working is far more important then I realized, like I, like I sat down and I thought, okay, how am I, like I, I closed 243 new girls between July 2016 and July 2017, which is unheard of. Most guys in the community aren't, aren't anywhere close to that number, even the top guys. So I looked at how am I doing this in a year? And most of that, what most of those 243 was not pulling, like a very small percentage. And there was almost no day game. And as I said before, in, in a lot of videos, pulling is vastly overrated and vastly overfocused on day game is vastly overrated and vastly focused on. Like there's there's not much bang for the buck to go patrol a mall um, for five hours, four hours, five hours, like which guys regularly do because a lot of the pickup companies like RSD tell them to do that. And I've talked to top day gamers and like how many quality leads do you get, like girls that'll meet up or, or girls that'll even respond, how many quality leads do you get in an hour? And they're like one, two, okay, garbage. You can, you can quickly grab 10 to 15 in a night game situation. You can, um, get a few a day with tinder or bumble okay if you're doing your, your profile properly you can get at least that money um and you're doing boosts and so that which i talk about in the Occam's razor product but um that lead piece and that that's why i'm not trying to like sell myself out here like oh now i'm now i'm just pumping products no i'm taking this lead machine product and just giving like the full soup to nuts here's how you take a lead and bring it to fruition for a date and there's so many things involved with that between calendar managing rescheduling uh adjusting time slots based on cancels and flakes dealing with girls who cancel and flake canceling on them once you've overbooked things double booking the girls booking a floater um dealing with her whole score of objections all that stuff for every lead source very 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 important okay so whoever wants early access to that the price for that in the product for that chart and the in the product is, is going to be $997. Come, I'll probably re release it right around Christmas time. That's the goal. Um, but what you will get if you get it in advance, it will be 50% off um, $497. You'll get the chart now and you'll get the rest of the content before Christmas as, as soon as it's developed. So email me at epdatingcoach at gmail.com. Um, if you are interested in that and expect lots and lots of good content coming. I'm, I'm kindly, I'm, I've kind of like sorted out a lot of shit 
in my life, like I'm back on the gym, I'm back on healthy eating, um, high water intake, martial arts, all that stuff. I've kind of restored balance and um, I'm really excited to, to knock this product out before Christmas. Um, the book I'm targeting for release the beginning of 2020. So and it might happen sooner, but I don't want to over promise. So um, that will be uh, being worked on as well uh, during 2019. Um, and the other big thing is the, the, the 15 day or sorry, 10 day immersion that I'm running, um, in Europe and I'm going to be running one in New York city as well. Um, that's rockstarlifestyles.com. I will put the website to that in the bottom. That's a very, very high end offering. Um, we're going to be primarily, uh, marketing to entrepreneurs, CEOs, independently wealthy people, um, hedge fund guys, crypto guys, and also white collar workers that make good money, like uh, computer programmers, engineers. Um, but there is an inquiry form where you can speak to my operations manager for that program. Um, if indeed you are interested, that's going to be me plus four other coaches, all bringing various expertise, um, just covering for 10 days. Like I have a, a giant list, but it's, it's, it's so much more than it's pickup, it's business. It's fashion, it's style, it's, you're going to have a professional photography session. You're going to have edits done to your photos. Um, and I have a professional stylist and a woman that's going to take you to the, to the mall to get a new wardrobe, um, possibly a new haircut. Um, she's going to talk to you about any problems or questions you've had with relationships with women. If she was a relationship therapist and a, a sexologist and all that stuff. She's going to teach you how to properly have sex, not by demonstrating personally, but just explaining that kind of stuff to you. Um, there's going to be optional martial arts training. We're going to teach you how to even do small stuff like dance floor game, how to build social circle, how to do table game. I'm going to go through the lead stuff, um, how to, you know, have the best rotation possible or, or how to get the best girlfriend possible. We're going to be micing you up in field and listening to you and in your interactions. There's going to be lots of infield. Um, both daytime and nighttime. It's just gonna be like everything we could possibly cover about how to optimize your value as a man, even fitness stuff. We've got a couple guys on the team that are uh, really experienced with fitness, with nutrition. It's gonna be just covering the whole spectrum, okay? Pickup and game will be a large focus, but it's gonna cover a lot more than that. So I'll put the link to that. I have a whole website built for that that just was finished. And we already have some inquiries for that. And that will be kind of like the creme de la creme of the live workshop offerings. Okay. So recap one more time, the Lee's machine product by Christmas right now, you can get in for half off for $497, which will give you the chart and then the rest of the content by Christmas, my book, which will be chronicling my journey to a thousand lays, which was quite the adventure. Uh, that will be, uh, ready by January, 2020, if not sooner. And, my high-end immersion offering, which will be for 10 days. I'm going to be running one in Poland and I'm going to be running one probably in New York city. And we're actively booking those out now. And that will be, you can see on the website, actually, it goes, it goes through all the details on the website. I'll put the website, it's rockstarlifestyles.com, but I'll put the link to that. So you can go through and check out all the details of that and possibly book a appointment with, with my operations manager to discuss, to see if you're a good fit and expect lots more good content coming up. I'm really disappointed that I let the channel kind of fall off between all the, the traveling and different stuff. I just kind of put it on the back burner. So I do apologize once more for that, but um, there will be a resurgence. Now I, I even deleted Facebook recently. Um, I had a 4,000 person Facebook group and just there's just so much drama and bullshit with all these little chody guys in the forums and stuff like that. And, it's just, just such a waste of time between all the alerts on, you know, the notifications bar and all the crap in the newsfeed and all that stuff. I did that to free up time. So there will be lots of good stuff coming. I promise. Um, okay. So email me if you have any questions about any of this that I just discussed. Uh, I'm really excited about all this stuff. This immersion offering is going to be the, by far the best on the market. This leads machine product is just going to be like a nuke dropped on the community. Um, but the two guys have already released the two. They're already just absolutely destroying. So the Occam's Razor product plus the Leeds Machine product is just total game over. 
Okay, you, you really don't need anything else at all. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys um, very soon on a lot more videos. All right, take care.